the first when you're told you're going to start the game and secondly when you're told you're going to captain your country? Yeah, you know, that was a lovely gesture, obviously, by Katie to give me the armband for the occasion. And luckily it was a home game as well because I was just talking with the girls and a lot of their 100th cap had fallen on like an away game. So that was extra special to be at home in Tallinn in front of all of our fans and obviously to have my family there. And I don't know if you know, but my niece and nephew came out with me as well. So it was really, really special. Yeah, beautiful occasion. Out before the World Cup, and you were sort of him and on when you'd get to that under or what happened mm. to get there and to actually say, you know, you've got there. When you look back over that that period, like how far Irish football has come from when it starts and now, what's it, what's it like when you look back on that, that, that time? Yeah, wow, it's, it's overwhelming, um, but uplifting at the same time. You know, you've been there through the whole journey um, and the development of the women's game as a whole. And it's something that I'm really proud of, what this team has achieved on and off the pitch. And uh, yeah, there's there's not another team that I would prefer to go out and battle with. You know, they're just a great bunch of girls and they always have been throughout the years. And yeah, I remember watching Kira Grant and Emma Byrne getting presented with their 100th cap away back when. And I was thinking to myself, wow, would I ever get to that number? Like that just seems so far away. And yeah, look, here I am, so I'm very grateful. Last one for me. Has there been a request in the family? Because I'm sure everybody wants that jersey, everybody wants <laughs> the captain. What's the plans? Are you going to frame the boat and put the boat up? Yeah, I was thinking about getting it signed by all the players and yeah, definitely framing it, yeah. Yeah, Diane, overall a 5-1 victory, obviously a very good result, but you did concede your first goal in the campaign. So from yeah. a defensive perspective, how do you guys reflect on it? Yeah, we for sure weren't happy about that. We looked, we looked at it at half time and there was a lot of elements involved that could have been better. Um, so, yeah, very annoyed with that, let's put it that way. But again, it's something that we can build on and I think the second half performance was vastly improved compared to the first one. So, a lot of positives to take from it. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of the campaign overall, three wins from three, I mean, you are exactly where you guys want to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's so important that we top this group, obviously to progress into to Group A and that is the ultimate goal and we have to continue that now again on, on Tuesday. And in terms of the style of playing, how you're playing in this campaign since you know coming out of the World Cup, mm. do you feel that the changes that have happened since have been justified, that the team is playing kind of football that they want to play, they feel they can play? Yeah, it's definitely a different brand of football. You can see we're a lot more aggressive and front-footed, a lot higher up the pitch, a few positional changes as well. Um, but I know a lot of people will say, oh, you're, you're playing against let's say lesser opponents if you look at the rankings but I think generally going, going back in, in our results we've struggled against teams like that to, to really dominate and impose our style of play on them so I think we've really jumped up a level if you look back on these last three games and the building blocks are there and hopefully that we can just keep improving and um, working on that new style of play. And just finally for me, obviously the second half performance was so much improved on the first. Yeah. That's the thing you want to carry into Tuesday night, I guess, and any sense of complacency would be taken out from what happened in the first half an hour of the game. Yeah, definitely. You know, you come up against different types of opposition and in a way, first half, sometimes you're trying to figure each other out and seeing where the gaps are and a lot of the time you do reassess and obviously the coach and staff have a, a big input at half time and they tweaked a few things and, and told us specific details and what to work on and, and we did it and, and you can see that we got the rewards for it. You were going for a goal a few times there. So I was, did you notice? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had a chance early on in the first half, um, hit the crossbar I think. And then another one fell to me in the second half, and I think I could have done better with that one, but I was definitely trying to top off the occasion. Listen, maybe 100 caps plus, we'll see Diane Caldwell striker. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. If Katie did it, you know, so no, I don't know about striker, but uh, I'll definitely keep trying from far away. And then you were talking about your family and friends coming here. How special is that? Like, who, who was here for you, and how important is that for you? Yeah, my immediate family were here, obviously, and they were a big Balbriggan clan. They were the ball girls, so that was perfect uh, time, and that's obviously where I'm from and the team where I first started playing football. And then, like I said, my niece and nephew were there as well to, to walk out with me for the national anthem, and that was very special. Diane, there's so many caps in that back line for Ireland, but there's yeah. also a lot of players who are coming in, and this is their first window really playing regular football at Ireland. The Nations League seems to be giving you a great opportunity to break in this yeah. new young talent. How is that working in the squad dynamic? Yeah, as you've seen, I think it's brilliant, and it highlights the, the youth that are coming through and the trust that the manager has. 
in those players and I think for us as, as a defence you know we obviously have a lot of experience there but it's great to to watch those girls just embrace one-on-one -on -one situations be skillful show their style of play and us oldies at the back just keep everything nice and clean and tidy and, and, and block everything up so it, it's great to let them just do their thing and uh, yeah impose their style of play. It's always been a fairly established backline, but you have players like Caitlin Hayes coming in yeah. there now. What's it been like having her? She's pretty much come in and swam since she's had her first game. Yeah, yeah, her performances have been fantastic. You know, she looks like she's been playing there for many years, and yeah, credit to her, she's just made a seamless transition. So again, it's it's adding to the competition in the backline, um, which is only going to be beneficial for the team. Obviously, there's still the second leg with Albania to come. But do you have any kind of celebrations or anything planned to you know mark tonight? No, I'm no, I'm thinking should I? You're not going to get the Albanian calendar on Monday. Maybe. No, no, nothing planned. I mean, we've got a game Tuesday, so it's all about rest and recovery and and flying tomorrow. So unfortunately, there's not going to be any big celebrations tonight. I feel like somewhere down the line, someone will definitely have something organised. Oh, you. Yeah, maybe yourself. <laughs> More than welcome to come along and organise a party. <laughs> Thank you. Diane, your career has had so many ups and downs and so many amazing highs with Ireland in particular the World Cup and everything. Where does this 100th cap and celebrating it here, where does this rank among the best moments in Ireland jersey? Yeah, of course, it's it's really up there. It's a very special, um, monumental occasion. Um, but I think the biggest highlight for me was for sure Hampton Park and, and that qualification for our first ever tournament. That will be forever the best night of my life. So, But this is obviously a very special occasion for my family. Um, and for everyone in Balbriggan and obviously associated with my journey to get here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.